Micro Brew Gamer. All right, welcome to the newest installment of Micro Brew Gamers. In this episode, we're going to talk about not one but three different brews from the same place, the Dogfish Head Brewery. And we're also going to delve into an RPG this time, the Fairy Fencer F Advent Dark Force for the PlayStation 4. All right. Now all three beers are from the Dogfish Head Brewery in Delaware. A buddy of mine got to go down, and he was down there taking a look, tasting the beers, tasting the food, and he brought me up three different beers to try out for the video. Uh, he's also a big, big beer buff. Um, so I talking about the first one's going to be a saison, or a saison, and the other two will be dark ales. Now the Dogfish Head Brewery has only been in existence since about 1995 where it started up as a small brew pub in Delaware, and it was the first brew pub in Delaware, meaning brewery and pub where they serve the food in the restaurant. And um, they started off as the smallest commercial brewery in America. Uh, they were so small they only had a few barrels to work from and some uh, propane tanks uh, to heat up the, and brew the beer. <clears throat> They've since then expanded quite a few places, uh, Predominantly, they have several locations in Delaware, but the beer is sold all over the place. And uh, they've got a good reputation. They make some good brews. Now, the beers I'm going to talk about will be a, a Saison and then two dark ales, brown ales. Now, we're also going to talk about, we're going to talk about the uh, IBUs of each of the beers, or International Bitterness Units, is how bitter the beer is. They try to come up with a relative rating for how bitter the beer is, and the ABV are alcohol by volume. So we're going to talk about the alcohol content in each of these beers, which uh, varies greatly. Now the first one is the Beer de Provence Saison. Now these uh, Saisons were actually typically a summer beer brewed around in the Belgian region and, and some um, French regions, and there really is no good unified definition of what a saison is. Um, they basically were summer ales brewed by farmers of the region, and they typically, because of lack of refrigeration back then, they typically brewed them during the cold months and kept them good, and then served the bulk of it during the summer months when all the tourists or saisons came in. So it, it a lot of them are very similar to brown ales, but they're a little all over the place. Um, so I thought that was an okay grouping for that. Now brown ales typically are darker in color than other ales and have more bitterness and higher malt content. So um, I'm not a big fan of the bitter beers, but I'm going to try these out. Now the first one, the Saison, is the Beer de Provence Saison. Now their take on it, Dogfish Head, is to add lavender, majorum, and bay leaves to give it a really complex flavor. And um, so I'm going to try that. This this particular beer has 8.3% alcohol, and it's got an IBU rating of about 30. So I'm going to try this one out. You know, they were inspired by um, Florence, uh, France, and in, in, in the Belgian area, but... I taste more Italy in this, actually. Uh, just because I like to cook with those spices in a lot of my Italian cooking. It just kind of reminds me more of Italian, but uh, their inspiration was French, so. Very complex flavor. It's really neat. It's not too bitter, so I actually like this one. Now, the next one that I have here by Dogfish Head is a Palo Santo Marone. It's a their version of the brown ale, one of their versions. And Apollo Santo basically just is, is that they use wooden casks and age the beer in it. And the casks are made of Palo Santo wood. It's Paraguayan wood, and it's very popular among South America for uh, making wine. It gives it a kind of a characteristic hint of vanilla and um, caramel, almost, uh, according to Dogfish Head. And these rate at about 12% alcohol and an IBU of 50, so it's a much more bitter beer. Um, so it also has a very dark color, so let me try that out, very dark. 
and spell. I'm not really a, fa a fan of that one, but I don't even know how to describe the flavor. I'm not a fan of that one. It's, it's definitely more of a bitter beer. Um, some of my friends like bitter beers, but um, I'm not a fan. So I'm going to go on to the last brown ale, and that is the Pumpkin Ale. It was actually inspired by, named after the uh, Pumpkin Chunkin that they do. Uh, which has gotten popular on the Discovery Channel. You can see the series of them doing the pumpkin chunking. So this is a brown ale that they added uh, pumpkin meat to it, actually. So you've got hints of pumpkin, yeah, they added brown sugar, and even some spices. And made that ale. It's got about 7% um, alcohol content, and an IBU rating of 28, so it's, it's closer to the other one. It looks like you have an alcoholic cat as well. So I'm going to try this one. That's pretty good. It's not bad. So, in fall, if you're in the mood for pumpkin spice everything, you get a pumpkin spice beer. Out of these three, honestly, I think my favorite is, is uh, the Saison, the beer de province from the province region, and it just has a really interesting complexity of flavors adding the spices that they did. Um, with a second of, of the uh, pumpkin spice, because she tastes pretty good, was not a fan of the Palo Santo. I I'm, I'm honestly don't like it, but I'm not a fan of really bitter beers. So, and it was the most bitter. So, I'm sure it'll probably be a pretty good beer for those of you that like bitter beers. I'm not one of them. Um, so that was the beers, and... They were definitely interesting. I, I like that Dogfish Head likes to do a lot of variety and a lot of different off-the-wall beers take you know, very unique take, takes on those beers. Um, I think you can, with experimentation, you can really hit on some cool flavors like the Sasson they did. But. So let's move on to the games. Fairy Fencer F, Advent Dark Forest. This game was just released back in July of 2016, so this year, on the PS4, and it's a remake of the version from the PS3, Fairy Fencer F, for about three years ago. Now, the game was released both times by Compile Heart and Idea Factory. It's a JRPG, and it's from the same makers that made uh, the Hyperdimension Neptunia series, which is a pretty popular series. Now, this game has got several improvements from the original. It's added a lot more content. Um, it said improved graphics, but it's not really that noticeable. The improvements on the graphics really aren't that noticeable, so it's no big deal there. The battle system has been tweaked, so it's a little bit more difficult. Enemies are harder, and it's faster paced. They've also increased the size of the party battling from three to six characters, which is cool. And the added storyline content. So you can follow the original storyline for Fairy Fencer F... Uh, which they call the goddess route, or you can open up a possibility of another two alternate different uh, storylines. Uh, they do that through the this little uh, the godly revival mini game. So basically, you can choose to either revive the goddess and go to the goddess route, or you can vi revive the vile god and get to do one of the two alternate routes throughout the game. Now, the game is based on the story that you've got a main character, Fang, that basically is listless, no motivation, just breezing through life, and he thinks that by pulling out a sword with a, uh, one of the uh, legendary Furies, that he's going to get a wish and, and easy money, easy life. Uh, so he does find one and pulls it out, and unwittingly, it's this Aaron Fairy that instead of getting a wish, he has got to basically help them collect all the furies and save the world. So the storyline is really is is, is kind of generic fare. I mean at this point this this type of storyline has been done so many times. Uh, the godly revival is kind of a neat thing where as you pull the swords out of either the vile god or the goddess and they start to revive you get to battle a, another boss and revive that uh, that piece of them. They also add um 
endings and more backline story to all the female characters, all the fairies. And that's about it. I mean, it's it's really a mediocre JRPG. Um, if you like them, you're going to like this one. If you're looking for something brand new and not done before, I would say look elsewhere. Uh, the battles are probably the best part about it. Um, the battles are really good. It's it's like the same tune of the Neptunia series. The the dungeon crawling though is kind of repetitive. You go in, they're not that imaginative. You go in looking for a fury. Go battle throughout the monsters throughout the dungeon. Explore it. Find the fury. Go to pull it out. Defeat a big monster. You know, boss. Then you go back to the uh, the main city. And then you go into the Godly Revival minigame and, and see if you can revive more that either Vile God or Goddess. So there's nothing that original, that new. It's... I would expect it more from a game that's a re-release in HD remake, but it was awfully quick. It was only on the PS3. It was only three years prior, so it was pretty quick to get another uh, version of the game out. I really feel that they could have touched up on the graphics a bit more. And... Um, the characters themselves are real lackluster. They're pretty much generic anime fanfare. Um, you got your hypersexualized characters, the stuck-up princess. It's pretty much the same old thing if you've been playing these types of games or watching anime. It's the same old thing, so there's nothing new. I would say overall, if you don't already own it and you really like RPGs, not bad for a pickup. Go ahead and play it. If you already own it, it's not adding that much new to it. And if you're not really interested in, you know, super interested in RPGs, I'd avoid it and just go to a much better one. So, overall, not a bad game, but really lackluster. Alright, so we got to see three different beers this time from the Dogfish Head Brewery down in uh, Delaware. And I think the pumpkin spice uh, patterned after the pumpkin chunking contest is my favorite overall. With the uh, Sasson is also an interesting flavor, but and I don't like that last one. So, not too bad. So, some beers that are pretty good. Um, and uh, a game that was is alright. An RPG this time, which I am a fan of RPGs, but uh, definitely a lackluster one. Maybe next time we'll find a little bit more of a uh, unique and uh, more exciting JRPG. But for now, that's pretty much the... Uh, the games, this time it wasn't uh, anything super exciting. It wasn't something groundbreaking or as good. But uh, that's what we do these reviews for. Sometimes you really love it, and sometimes it's so-so. Uh, for as far as the beer and the uh, games go. So, as always, I appreciate you guys from watching. Good beer, good games.